Don't try to sneak into your room like that. I know what you've got behind your back. Records. More no records. Oh, I see. So what are you showing here? So lots of headphone amps, um, a couple of Matrix uh, audio products. This is the I2 and the X2. Um, then we've got the Bricasti M3 headphone amp DAC. And next after that, the TAC UD701 headphone amp DAC. These are all network audio DAC headphones as well. Right. And then we've got RAL audio here. They're uh, um, big tube amplifier that's going along with their new uh, CA he CA1 headphones. We've got to get all the headphones out. And where are, they, where are they from? California. So this is like... The uh, same company that does the raw ribbons. Uh huh. So they're doing ribbon headphones. And this is the Matrix Audio X-Saber Pro 3 DAC. It's a network DAC. And then we've got the Cayenne HA3A tube headphone amplifier. Uh, we've got the Pass Audio Labs HA1 Class A headphone amplifier. And this is the Dragon Inspire headphone amplifier that was designed by Dennis Had from Mood Audio. Oh, exclusively how's Dennis Had that. doing? He's doing fantastic. I haven't spoken to him in decades. You know, he's a mad scientist. He can't sit still. You know, he's Good. creating new designs every week. You know, selling them on eBay, just having a blast. Good for him. Orinder ACS10 being dri uh, uh, D to A by Cord to yep. Stack. Yep. Uh, then we've got the new Oris Audio out of Serbia, the Nirvana 4 tube headphone amplifier. Then this is the brand new DCS Bartok with the Apex upgrade. So this is the first one in the U.S. right now. We're lucky to have this at the show. And this is a this is a headphone amplifier headphone amp DAC. DAC. Mm -hmm. Okay. What, what was this expensive? I imagine twenty-two thousand. Yep. And what's the demographic for this? This is a young demographic. Um. Well, if they're making a lot of money in tech, then yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then we've got the full DCS Lena stack, the clock, the headphone amp, and the Lena DAC. Or, or is this for like older people whose wives say, "Turn that goddamn thing exactly, down." That's exactly. That's who this is for. Okay. And they got to have the best of the best of the best, but for headphones. Yeah. 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 And what are the headphones that most people? Yeah. Yeah. So all the headphones are over here. <laughs> Oh my God! Look at this. Off, but you know we've got Jeez. Meze Audio, Sennheiser, Hi-Fi Man, Dan Clark Audio, Rawl, Focal, Fostex, Rossen Audio. Um, we have all the top brands here. So another crowded field. Another crowded field. Wow. Yeah. These, yeah. We we try to sell the ones that stand out though in terms of performance stuff. Right. Great. Well, thank you. Okay. This is the new planner. The new the, the last born. Uh, uh, headphone that is uh, Centa Centauri, it's the first planner of our line. Okay. Uh, it's not the top of, of the list, uh, that uh, it is uh, Valkyria. It is the very top of our list. The difference, this one. Oh, that's beautiful. And what is that? What's the technology in that? Uh, the difference uh, is uh, that it's not a planner, it's a, dyna it's a dynamic, dynamic driver, okay, that's what I mean, but yeah. uh, our, our uh, main technology inside, so the, the uh, two input system that are two uh, isobaric, two, two isobaric uh, uh, oh, driver. Well, uh, okay. What, what, is, what, is that, what does that cost? Watch. What does that cost? Uh, is cheap. Uh, cheap. Twelve thousand. Twelve thousand dollars. Okay. <laughs> so you, you don't want to leave that on an airplane, right? Okay. Okay. I, 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 I'm just joking on the price. But, I know you. Uh, how, how much you, is it? You know. You know. Is a, a, an extreme evolution of this. That is twin pulse. The original twin pulse. And how is much is 3, that? Three thousand. Oh, okay. That's okay. So it is. It is so expensive because uh, the evolution was. Uh, uh, Maintaining the same technology, we transformed a, a good sport car in a racing car, uh, trying to to get every uh, everything possible to to improve the sure. the performance. Sure. Uh, transforming not only the driver but even the magnet. Uh, the magnets in not one magnet for uh, each uh, driver, but n uh, nine magnet. Improving the, the the strength from four to fourteen kilos of strength. Yeah. So much more power in order to control the power, 
uh, we transformed the aluminium chassis in uh, uh, titanium. titanium as is, yeah. So you have to consider only to to uh, to work on the on the titanium. It takes uh, five or six times, uh, and I'm it's sure. much more expensive the material. I'm sure, okay. and it makes a difference in sound quality. You have to try, but uh, yes. <laughs> I have no time to listen to anything yes. here. I'm just here ma, ma, writing about there it. Is, uh, there is a lot of difference, uh, uh, considering that uh, the, the difference are uh, at that level and uh, not so big difference, yeah. but uh, is the quality. Incremental that, is what we're yeah. all about in this yeah. business. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. What's the, what's the demographic that buys your products? What's the age? Group? Um, well, we, we have products ranging for like Teenagers, these are gaming headsets. These are our newest ones. They're the Odyssey Maxwell. So uh, what does that cost? Uh, these are 300 for the, the PlayStation version, 329 for the Xbox version. Okay, so that's right. And we go all the way up to 4500 with our electrostatic carbons, which are like the oval-shaped ones over there. Five, which is the one on the far right over here, is also 4500 That's where our range is. Uh, so these aren't practical for, like, taking on an or on a plane ride, right? No, no, no. These are they're mainly home listening. Uh, if you want, if you want something you can travel with, uh, our gaming headsets they're they're pretty they're wireless. You have you have a wireless USB dongle as well as Bluetooth uh -huh. and an auxiliary and USB input. As for, well. for these, yeah. So yeah. They, they're very versatile. Yeah. Radio concept turntable, and we have a clear audio ovation turntable. This one's fitted with a with a DS audio. It looks like a W three, but I can't see. This is the clear audio reference Jubilee limited edition. Against the wall because the DSP is delaying the rear driver by about six feet in, in terms of distance. Delay by that equivalent. That sounds awfully good. You can put it any distance. It doesn't matter. The DSP is delayed for the rear, rear, rear reflection. Right. Whether it's six it's inches or six feet. feet. It's still going to be the box. Yeah, six inches. Right. 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 Speakers from Canton are these retail for 20 a pair. Okay, so we're in there. Yeah. <laughs> I know, it's just an old-fashioned, uh, yeah. terrible. So it's all new records. Brand spanking new. There's only records. Who is this company here? Modern Harmonic. Do we know who this company is? Do we know what they master from? Do we have any idea who they are? I see. Modern Harmonic. Yeah, uh, Modern Harmonic is actually put out by Warner Brothers. Okay, so. Um, who is it? Warner Brothers actually distributes Modern Harmonic. Oh, and, and how are they, what's, what are they sourcing this from? Uh, well, actually they're doing it from tapes. From they are? From tapes, yes. This is a brand I never heard of. Yeah. How long have they been around? Um, they've been around a while. A while, don't a while. You mean? It's on the barcode. It doesn't do it like that. No? I'm sorry. It's part of the Sony Warner record group, so it's pretty good stuff. Yeah. It's been about 20 years, sir. 20 years? And I've never heard of them? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's a problem. No. It's a problem for them, not for me. Of course. They don't, I've never heard of them either. I know. That sounds... And who's, I have the original. Really? Yeah. And who's, who's cutting this? Do we know who's cutting this? He, he knows this stuff, too, so he's never heard of this. And you... It's just a young lady that I've heard about, and uh, you know, a jazz harp is an anomaly at best.
at this point, yeah. But this is a very good album. Uh, glass of wine, sitting there relaxing. Yeah. You know, that lilt that a heart puts out is... Could it turn into electrical distortion? It doesn't mean it's going to sound bad. You can be perfectly misaligned and have very enjoyable sound. What you're guaranteed of, however, when you are misaligned, is that you will not read all of the information that's in there. I've seen him do it in the video. He's, he's the guy. <laughs> I don't like him. Good. 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 So, so yeah, uh, the yeah. seminar at noon, two, and four. Hey, Mom. How are you? Oh, Moon River 505 is shipping in about uh, shipping in about a week's time uh, $5,000 separate MM separate MC up to 72 dB of gain uh, four inputs and you've got adjustable capacitance adjustable impedance for MM and then on the MC you have one input that's variable anywhere from zero to 865 ohms. Okay, here's it. Okay, that was $5,000? Uh, $6,000. $6, the production versions will be shipping in a week's time. Okay, and the one I saw at Cap Audio Fest was also a prototype. Correct, okay. correct. And the, ter the table you'd be interested in is the Galder Signature. I which has I the, the, the Galder. Galder. Right. So the signature, they've taken away all the aluminium parts and replaced it with stainless steel, oh. non-magnetic magnetic stainless steel. So the platter went from 25 pounds to 80 pounds. Oh. You hear about an extra half an octave of, of, of base bottom, yeah. on the bottom end. I mean, it's very noticeable, Michael. Very noticeable. And this, uh, this one is what model is this one? This one is the Modi with the Thor tone arm with adjustable VTA on the fly. And this costs how much? 17,000. And what is that plinth made out of? Uh, MDF? No, it's a composite. Oh. Okay. Anything else that I should be seeing here? No, I think that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. It's okay. It's a darkened room. It's impossible. Mike, I'm sorry. That's okay. So this is uh, the entry level Michelle Techno Deck. It's $2,800 with the arm.
course, it also makes a curve in the back, which is kind of the worst thing. So it's, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> there will be a smaller version of this coming. With an eight inch one. Where are these made? Uh, Oregon and Pennsylvania. I do some of the metal work and so forth in Pennsylvania. So we're small. Just a brief interruption, esteemed viewers. As you may know, I'm Tom Martin, Chief Content Officer of the Absolute Sound. We have a new product. It's on the Substack platform and we're going to do some interesting things with Substack. First of which is reader questions and answers. Each Monday, readers will submit questions, we'll pick the most interesting ones, and we'll answer the questions on Friday. We'll also have early access to articles and special blogs that don't appear anywhere else. We hope you'll join us. It's only a cost of a cup of coffee per month. Just check on the screen or in the show notes below. Thanks, and now back to the show. I hate music. You hate music? Well, you're in the wrong show for this. Unless you like test tones. Because you're, you're calling these audio interfaces they're as opposed audio, to A to D, D to A converters. Yes, they're audio interfaces because they have an audio driver for computers. So you can connect them to a class compliant device like your phone or your iPad. You also can connect it to a computer and stream like with Cubos. Cubos. Right. Cubos. I always say that wrong. Cobos, like. Cobos. Thank you. <laughs> um, so in the recording industry, you might use it to record instruments and voices. Right. In this industry, you're going to use it primarily as a digital to analog converter. Right. But it is an interface because I can USB connect it to my laptop and stream and do all this kind of stuff. And the three models really differentiate in one way. The, there's an ADI2 DAC, which is just, a, as the name suggests, listening, D to A. It's right. got digital ins, USB in, and all that. The ADI2 Pro is an A to D and a D to A, so I can capture analog audio as well as digital audio. I can record up to 768 kilohertz, I can play back and record DSD files. The latest model, which is called the ADI 24, which is this one, they went one step further. They actually added the uh, a turntable input with all of the necessary EQs for that, as well as a Pentacon headphone connector, and did a few other little cool things on the power supply. And what does that one cost? Twenty four ninety nine. Oh. The Pro is nineteen ninety nine, and the DAC is twelve ninety nine. And we do have a show special coupon code if you're interested. I can give that. To and you. where are these manufactured? Germany. 
Yep. Oh, they made in Germany. Yep. And you're the importer, is that what? We are the worldwide distributor of RME. And, uh, we are the manufacturer, but the oh. distributor, it's sort of like what Harman is to JBL. I got you. So Syntax and RME are essentially the same company. I got you. And, and you have you have the uh, spectrum analysis here just for the fun of it? It's on there? It's just... No, this is a very important tool that um, engineers might use or home audiophiles might use. This is called DigiCheck. It actually allows you to get a more accurate reading like you see on the display of what your frequency information is, what your phase and stereo information is, what your actual peaks are, and you can customize this interface by just right clicking on any one of these areas oh. and you can change the type of meter that you have depending on you know what it is. So you can pretty much customize this to whatever and it's, you it's want. And it's Mac compatible? And... It's the Windows version and Mac, yes. Oh. And the speakers are? The speakers are Claris Audio. Uh, out of Switzerland. You're using a, a pass photo pre? Pass X27 photo stage? Yep. Okay. Better sound good. And I knew the spark of love was still burning. Those are our new Sparko amp coming out. Uh, it actually uses his Pro Series op amps. It's two watts per channel. Um, we have a volume control to the right. We have treble and we have gain control as well. And then that's actually feeding through our AKM based chipset on our J2 DAC. So and that's a, so it's a headphone amp. Percent. Headphone amp, yep. And that's going to be released this year starting at, I believe, $599 without wood. Or with uh, per per species of wood, um, and then other species of wood, it can go up to another fifty dollars. Very reasonably priced and very cool looking. Does it sound any sound any good? Sounds fantastic. So, what is your name? And are you enjoying yourself at the show? Yes. Yes. What have you seen that's interesting so far? Uh, I really normally I'm watching the stuff that I had watched with my grandma. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm just doing that. What kind of music do you like? I like. Thank you. Well, uh, you. Thank you. well, I, well, it's like I like to to stamper and uh, oh yeah, we we'll on down. So you're enjoying yourself at this show. Yeah. Are you an audiophile now, or do you consider yourself a future audiophile? Uh, future. Future audiophile. Yeah. Okay, you have to I, you have to make some money to to do to be an audiophile, so. You have to start working. Are you putting them to work? Okay. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate that. I don't. I don't pay anything for these interviews. Is that okay? Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. And then. Let's see what's in here. The Wharfdale speakers. I'm listening to basically the components on the right. Okay. And so we have a brand new integrated amp from Leak. You might recognize that name from sure. many, many years ago. And uh, uh, that name has been revived. Beautifully made, beautiful real wood uh, cabinetry. Uh, a sound that works on all kinds of music. It is extremely non-fatiguing. Right. You can listen to it for a long period of time. And like many Wharfdale designs, it's considered a bargain. Right. So less than two thousand dollars a pair gets you speakers that are finished in beautiful matched wood veneers uh, that have enough bass and sound pressure level to fill up even a big room. Right. In, in a really classic visual. This this is called a Hi-Fi Rose RS250A. Right. A signifies it is a brand new model. And uh, the previous version was quite popular, very popular. Uh, it's really the smaller brother to their very successful RS150. Right. The functionality is the same, but what you uh, get on the 150 is fully balanced architecture. You have balanced connectivity. You have a femto clock. You have 
uh, really the type of sound quality. It's a reference quality piece. The 250 gives you all the same functionality, but without the balanced connections, uh, without the big heavy aluminum chassis uh, for just about half the price. Right. So both units are quite popular. Where's that amplifier made? This one is made in China, the yeah, yeah. Leak, and, and, and the, the Master Sound is, uh, Master Sound being a small Italian company made in Italy, oh. and this is their entry level piece called the Master Sound box. Is that on here? It is. And what does that sell uh, for? $4,000. Okay. And very well renowned for their, for their sound quality. So the, the league is made in China, but is it a British company that's revived it, or is it just somebody bought the name? And it's, it is part of what's called the uh, IAG Group, International Audio Group. So that quad same group. company owns Quad, ah. Wharfdale, Mission, Luxman. Oh. So they have, they have quite a, uh, and there's even a few others. That have, which They've are, got they, quite a stable. It is, and they've done, in my, from what I can see, a fabulous job. So, for example, the uh, most recent designs from Wharfdale have been fabulous. They have done such a good job yeah. with that brand. Uh, and what we've seen with Leak, especially with the integrated amplifiers, are a lot of success. And the first thing you notice is this sort of retro look, but yeah. behind the pretty faceplate, there is Class AB design with a huge toroidal transformer, really nice sounding uh, moving magnet phono preamp, so they've, they've done a tremendous job with their design. I think you should, you should give a course here the day before the show opens in how to present hi-fi, because you do a very good job, and walking around here, there's a lot of meekness. People don't know how to do what you do, you should, so you should teach a course. I've been doing it for a while. <laughs> Who's a legend? Who's a legend? You are the legend. <laughs> John is a legend. John oh. legend. I'm not a legend. Le legend makes it sound like you're old. Well, I am old. Okay, but that's another story. So the last time I saw these guys was in Warsaw. They had the same setup, same signage, same records. It's a lot of snake oil. And these are Eggleston works. The speaker is very nice. Okay, so these speakers are the... This is the Avant-Garde Duo GT, and uh, these are, this is the first pair here in the United States. I'm very excited about it. So these are the active, um, the, the first active Duo GTs. Uh, so uh, 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 the entire line is, uh, has been activized uh, as the iTron technology is available for all of it. It's still also a passive version. Yeah. Um, so what we've got here is uh, the Duo GT with the iTron technology inside and uh, 
So this one is not is not switchable back and forth. It's, it is switchable. It is switchable. Yeah, it is switchable. So you can buy this and then switch it to passive if you want to run your own exactly. amplifier. So later tonight we're going to be setting up the 300B phasemations over there, which are 25 watts and 300B. Yeah. quite good stuff. Yeah, that should be interesting. Okay, and you're playing some unknown music here. Yeah, this is you know a new band actually yeah. from around the way. This is the X8. This is a really great table. And what speakers are those? Olympica Nova 3s. So this is 15,000 a pair. These are nice. The Mishi Rotel, really nice. 